You don't need to buy roasted peppers anymore. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a delicious red roasted peppers with seasoned breadcrumbs. The first thing you wanna make sure is that you have really good red peppers. Just pick the best ones you can at the store, give them a wash, and then dry them all off and get them on parchment paper and put them in the oven at 400 degrees for about 60 minutes. Now the time isn't exactly critical, but you want to, as they get brown on top, like kind of blackish, you wanna kind of flip them over. And those are looking good, so let's flip them over. And then get them right back in the oven until they get really black like this. It took about 45 minutes to an hour. Really, you just want to get the skin charred on all sides. Alternatively, easier, you can do this on the grill. Or you can just take, you know, like a flame from your gas stove. And you can take tongs and you could roast them that way. These are good. The way to get the skin to peel off really easily is to use a bowl. They kind of get shriveled up, which is what happens after they go in the oven for an hour. I'm going to put those shriveled up peppers into a large glass bowl or metal bowl. That doesn't matter. Use whichever bowl you want. Just get them all in there and get plastic wrap on and wrap it tight. It's going to let it steam and the skin is going to peel off easier. While those peppers are cooling, I want you to grate up a half a cup of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Gonna use Parmesan for this one. You could also use Pecorino Romano too, but I'm going for the lighter, less potent flavor of Parmesan in this. Also a half a cup of breadcrumbs, roughly. Some hot red pepper flakes, about an eighth of a teaspoon, but if you like more, definitely use more. And about a half a teaspoon of dried oregano. I'm gonna take two garlic cloves. Do a little tap. Give a little tap with your hand, you'll be able to pull the skin off fairly easily, and you'll have a clove like that. So two cloves is going to be more than enough. And I'm just going to do a little chop. And I want you to put kosher salt on top of it. That's going to allow us to make a paste. You're going to just chop it up as best you can, and then you're going to take the back of your knife, and you're going to apply pressure, and you're going to pull, and you're going to get a paste just like that. And only use about a teaspoon. It's very, very potent. So you probably need less than two cloves and then hit it up with some olive oil. You can use about a quarter cup of olive oil. You just wanna get these seasoned breadcrumbs fairly wet. And here's the peppers. So now they're cool enough where we're gonna be able to handle them properly and not, you know, not burn ourselves and be able to take the time to pull off the skin. Put it on rubber gloves here. You don't have to do this. You know, you're cooking for yourself and your family, you know, but uh, it's easier when you put the gloves on, find it's easier to remove the skin this way. So the skin comes off fairly easily like that in large, in large patches if you put the plastic wrap on. And this makes the process relatively easy for your red roasted peppers. So we have all these red roasted peppers. They're kind of whole and they still have the seeds in them and they still have the like the stem and the core and everything in there. So now we're going to do a little surgery on these peppers and as best we can we're going to remove the seeds and everything in the middle. You don't it would be it would make sense to run these through water but you don't want to do that. It will tend to dilute the flavor of your red roasted peppers making them not taste as much like a red roasted pepper should. You can take like a knife, kind of like a little paring knife, and you can kind of scrape off that large hunk of stems uh, of seeds, and then you can kind of like scrape across it and remove a lot of the other seeds. A paper towel works well here too. A couple dry paper towels, you use that, and you can push them off to the side. You're going to have some seeds left in here, and that's okay. But you're better off having a little seeds left than, having, than running these through water to remove all the seeds. So that's how they look. Got a nice large amount of red roasted peppers. And these roasted peppers you can use, you could put them in like a mason jar and top them with olive oil and you could put whatever seasonings you want, a little bit of garlic, kind of similar to the pickled eggplant I did a few uh, episodes ago. But what's nice to do with these, and I'm just gonna say right off the bat, what I'm doing here, you don't even have to go through the whole process of roasting them and removing the skin. You could just cut the peppers in half and you can make this seasoning and put it on top. This is a little bit better, but they're both really good. That's right. The printable recipe on my website for red roasted peppers with seasoned breadcrumbs does not pull the skin off. So you can definitely do that. I want to let you know that. So in a big baking tray, put about a couple 
teaspoons, maybe one tablespoon of olive oil, and just really wipe it well. This is going to help the peppers kind of come off. And oh, you can also just use parchment paper here. And I'm taking those red roasted peppers, put them on paper towels, and I'm just drying them a little bit to get any residual wetness off of them. I'm going to lay them out flat. You can definitely put more than this on, on a baking sheet. I kind of just left it like this. It, like you, you could kind of spoon one off at a time for when you're serving it. I took another little, uh, you know, like one of those little oval restaurant dishes and, and put the rest of the peppers in there. And I'm just going to sprinkle on these seasoned breadcrumbs. We're not going to use too much. You can use more if you like. I don't want to tell you exactly how much breadcrumbs to put on here. I don't want to tell you how much of anything to do exactly. These are all general rules, and I want you to learn how to really, really cook this stuff yourself. This is a really good base. If you want more garlic, you want more oregano, go ahead and do it. I'm going to top a little bit of olive oil, just drizzle it right on top to help it roast. And then we're going to put these in the oven for about 15 minutes more, maybe 10 minutes at about 400 degrees, just to get those breadcrumbs a little crispy. And that's how it looks. These are great side. I got the good olive oil here, Frantoia extra virgin olive oil. Use your favorite type. Drizzle it on top. Grate some Parmigiano Reggiano and enjoy. I'll see you next time.